guys welcome to you all and this is harsha again in front of you with a new tutorial guys before knowing about this tutorial guys if you want more videos guys and if you want more tutorials please like and subscribe to programming world for vi channel thank you uh, guys let us start with the tutorial in this video i am going to introduce an id called pycharm an accessible ide which is uh, very accessible with our uh, nvda screen reader before this uh, whatever uh, things you need to have i will say one is the, your screen reader is compulsory nvda and uh, python the latest version which will be given in the description the link will be given in the description and uh, the pycharm 2020.1 latest edition so which will also be given given in the description now guys let us start with the tutorial basically uh, i want to say that pycharm is really too too much lengthy actually too much lengthy file it's around 250 mb if you means uh, if you have more space in computer you can try it out like uh, if you have more than like uh, 500 or 600 mb space in your hard disk that much of uh, lengthy program it is a lengthy application it is it takes a large uh, time to load but once it is loaded <coughs> we can work uh, easily and uh, smoothly let us start with the tutorial guys installation of python and pycharm today i am in desktop now now i will go to the place where i downloaded the pycharm and python D items field D disrupt D document D downloads road downloads. So I came to my downloads place in Windows Explorer, and uh, I'm uh, going to the file of Python. I will show you how to install now. Python three point eight point two dot x one one hundred fifty five. So this is the Python three point eight version, the latest version which we found in the Python website. And I'm launching this. Window dialog. Downloads window. Items view list. The day grouping expanded. Python no. Python 3.8.2. 32-bit setup. Install now button C. Users Arsha HD app. So it's asking to install actually. I'll press one tab now. Install custom I install on add Python cancel select install now to install select install now to install Python with default settings or choose customize to enable or disable features text read only. So it is a text actually select install now to pi install now if you want to be installed as a uh, defaults whatever there is as uh, setting settings now and uh, install now but customize installation button choose location. customize installation means you can choose a different location or uh, something like a specific path you want to install install launcher for all users recommended checkbox check all plus l so install launchers for all users uh, if you if you are an administrator user you can do this add python 3.8 to path checkbox not checked all plus p add python 3.8 to path so what it will generally do guys if you not check this box when you type python in the run dialog box or you when you uh, type python in the command prompt cmd it will not get executed means the python interpreter will not get executed so i will check it add python free space checked add python 3.8 to path checkbox focus checked all plus p cancel but select install install now button c i will install with the default settings with the previously checked box of uh, add to path Cancel button alt plus C unknown. So I think it's just installing. Unknown download down Python 3.8.2 32 bit setup 56 percent. Python 3.8.2 32 bit setup setup progress graphic installing Python 3.8.2 test suite 32 bit Python 3.8.2 test suite 32 bit progress bar 61 percent 66 percent cancel button alt plus C 76 percent. Saying 32 bit don't worry about that. So we will uh, we download we downloaded the exact version as they gave in the PyCharm uh, sorry Python website. Python 3.8.2 32 bit setup pane folk download Python 3.8.2 32 bit setup cancel but Python 3.8.2 32 bit setup setup progress graphic installing Python 3.8.2 pip bootstrap 32 bit Python 3.8.2 pip bootstrap 32 bit progress bar unavailable. So what is saying now? 
it's the tools of like additional tools of python so that 32 bit what it said it's also an additional tool and the python pip bootstrap is also a tool in python python 3.8.2 32 bit setup disable path length limit button change close button disable path python 3.8 so i think installation is completed i got in i got a dialog so let me see whatever there is this dialog by pressing insert b Python 3.8.2 32 bit setup setup was successful graphic online tutorial link documentation link what's new link disable path length limit button changes your machine configuration to allow programs including python to bypass the 260 character max path limitation close button mode plus c so this we don't need for now actually the path limitation and all this window don't need for now then disable path length limit button focus change close button mode plus c we close the installation downloads window items view so then it got installed successfully in our system let me check in our uh, web by going to our run dialog box and typing python run dialog p y t h o n desktop list terminal python python 3.8.2 tag slash v 3.8.2 colon c users are sh so an interpreter is you know an interpreter is launched now so just type uh, a test line actually i will just type a calculation some calculation random calculation p i t left parent 5 star 3 star 2 right parent 30 greater 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 okay 5 star 3 is 15 15 star 2 is 30 yeah it's working properly now so it's also giving output properly and uh, it's a what we will call it as a it's called as interpreter so we not installed ide but what is called as integrated development environment yet so we will install them and uh, we will see what is the benefit of that download. I close the python terminal by alt f4 and uh, I return back to the downloads window and I am executing the pycharm setup file pycharm community 2020.1.x2 of 1 window dialog Downloads window items view list today grouping expanded picture community 2020.1 dialog unavailable graphic by charm so before installing this guys make sure you install the java jdk so which is explained in previous tutorial please uh, if you don't know how to enable the java access bridge in jdk guys please uh, see that video and uh, uh, request, requesting to watch again this video then I'll, I'm proceeding with the installation now. PyCharm installation. Next great cat next greater button mode plus n. Cat next greater button mode plus n. Next cat next pr property page space required. 674.4 MB setup will install PyCharm community edition. So it's saying that it requires 674 MB. So I have it. Then I'll. Uh, it's showing the location. Edit focus. Selected C. Program files. JetBrains PyCharm community edition 2020.1. So oh, here it will install C program files JetBrains PyCharm. Browse less back but next greater button not create desktop shortcut grouping 64 bit launcher checkbox not checked. So I'll choose a 64 bit launcher icon in the desktop. Space check 64 add launch create desktop add launchers dirt to the path checkbox not checked. Add launcher dirt directory to the path. So I will not recommend this edit service actually so if you want to add it to the path you can add I will not recommend this so we'll, we will use as normal uh, by going to the desktop and uh, launching the PyCharm Add open folder as project checkbox not checked Add open folder as project checkbox focus not checked So this option why is this option because uh, if you press application on any project if you press application on any project on windows explorer for example i have python 1 project so if i press uh, application on python 1 in the context menu it will show open in open project in pycharm i will choose this add open folder space check create associations grouping dot pie checkbox not checked create associations uh, this uh, this is actually with the dot pie extensions normally dot pi it will ask you to select a program means the computer don't know which program it wants to open with i will uh, associate uh, this program with those kind of files now 
by checking this box. Space check. Less back button. Alt next greater caps. Next greater. Install property page. Select the start menu folder in which you would like to create the program shortcuts. You can also enter a name to create a new folder. Edit selected jet brains. So this is the start menu folder. It should be as it is. List set less back property page. Edit list seven zip not select less back button. Install button. Up next greater. I gave install button now. Eleven percent. It's installing. One percent. Thirty-one percent. Forty-one percent. Fifty-one percent. Sixty-one percent. Seventy-one percent. One percent. Property page completing pie charm community edition setup pipe. So it said completing pie charm community edition installation. Let's see what it is saying fully. Pie charm community edition setup dialog. Finish button alt plus F. Graphic graphic property page completing pie charm community edition setup pie charm community edition has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close setup. Graphic completing pie. There are, uh, I want to say, there are several addition addition in the PyCharm. One is the community addition that is free and open source for the community. You can get it in JetBrains website and the paid addition, uh, which includes the HTML development and uh, HTML designing and CSS designing and uh, the lots of web de web development uh, stuffs and all. So it costs uh, around, like around nine dollars something. So you can check uh, the cost in the JetBrains website. So it's a professional edition. We are the, we are using for the tutorial the community edition now. So I'll give the finish button to complete the installation. Finish but property page completed. Run by charm community edition checkbox focus not checked out plus R. So I'll check it now. I want to run and configure now. So I want to show you how to configure the PyCharm also. So I'll check this box. Space checked. Finish button alt plus F. I'll give finish now. Downloads window. So as I said, it may take quite a long time to launch the program. Pipe jet brain down. Pipe jet brains privacy policy. Jet brain. Jet brains privacy policy dialog. Jet brains privacy policy. Edit text slash play. So I got the privacy and policy. Uh, so we don't have the time to read this actually so we'll proceed to the next i confirm that i have read and accept the terms of this user agreement checkbox not checked so i'll check this box for Space. checking the check i confirm this i have read and agreed edit text slash play version 2.1 last updated july 23rd 2018 so this is about the license version not the pycharm version so every license that they give is the about the version uh, code they will assign so the last uh, the last uh, modified date was uh, on 2018 this license i confirm that i have read and accept the terms of this user agreement checkbox checked exit button continue button edit text slash continue button i'll give the continue continue but edit i confirm that i have read and accept continue button so uh, if I press enter it not work don't continue let me press space space downloads window items new list the day group so expanded work now Pitcher community 2000 so the window uh, is uh, no longer visible to us and uh, it came to the downloads let me let me press alt tab again python google drive customized downloads row pipe customized pipe customized pipe charm dialog customized pipe charm ui themes right arrow feature customize ui python PyCharm themes, so we don't need this actually. Hence, we are screen reader users. Uh, Dark yellow radio button focus check one. Any theme is okay for us. Skip remaining and set defaults button. Next, Fe Dark yellow skip remain. Next, featured blue jeans button. Dark yellow skip remaining. And so set I will I will choose skip remaining and set defaults. Skip remaining and set defaults button. Space downloads window items new list. The day grouping expanded. Picture and Python group welcome to Py welcome open create new project button. So here is our main PyCharm window. So welcome to PyCharm. So uh, if I press tab, we'll get the options of uh, 
get help create new project button open button get from version control button configure button get help button create new project button so these are all options are there first uh, before creating new project guys creating project on project and all i will show in the next video because it will become lengthier if i create new project and uh, it uh, if i show this video only so this is what what are all about the configuration installation of pycharm installation of python and all so in the next video guys i'll sh i will show how to create a new project and uh, uh, how we can navigate through pycharm so what are all the windows are available to us how to see the output what the python program gives and all so let we see in the next video meet you in the next video guys have a nice day bye to all